Hey, hey, hey. It's another Sunday night. Come on in. Join me for this energy focus. So much to talk about. All the anticipation of the eclipse energy. So come on in. Join me and let's align our energies. Talk about what's going on. Come on in. Join me. I'm inviting you on if you'd like a reading. So let's just open up now to this energy, pull it together. So much going on in the cosmos. I know it's a lot of energy building. So if you would, just go ahead and share this for me. Hey, Cindy, I see you're there. Go ahead and share this for me. That would be very helpful. Go ahead and share it. Hey, Trudy, into my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. I'd love for you to come join me over there as well, where the conversation continues. Lots going on. Always have a chance to catch up on Sundays, pull our energy in, and talk about this alignment that's occurring. Have you been able to feel it? Have you noticed it? I have so much going on. Definitely feeling it. I don't see it here on the feed. Oh, I think because I went from my personal page. Let's see that. Here we go. All right, I'm going to share this to my other page. I did it wrong retrograde so much to learn with technology out there all right here we go there we go sharing it there if you would share it too hey tessa good to talk to you the other day thanks for calling and checking in that was awesome all right so if you would share this with somebody else that might need a little energy that might need to understand a little bit more of what's going on it's a crazy week out there everybody's anticipating this energy coming forward. We have to remind ourselves to stay grounded. That's what we're going to talk about. To really figure out and identify where this is hitting you right now. All right. I think I've got it shared. I kind of came in wrong on my personal page. That's okay. So if you're there, take a nice deep inhale. Hey, Adam King. I see you on there. Thanks for joining me tonight, too. This is my weekly energy focus. So for those that you don't know me, I'm Tarian Hyman helping people to align their spirit, work through the crisis that whatever it is, crisis is many things to many people. I'm the founder of Natural Forces Studio. I have the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook, so join that as well. So tonight we're gonna to talk about the eclipse. I'm gonna offer a reading. I'm gonna invite anybody that'd like to come forward, just give me a little thumbs up and I'll invite you on to do a reading for you. And then I've chosen some cards to help us align with this eclipse energy. Lots of energy going on, right? Lots of energy. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. All right. So, all right. There's a thumbs up. Yay. Um, Cindy, don't know why you can't share. You should just be able to hit a share button and it should go forward. All right. So, so much to talk about. Let's just take a moment. I'm going to light a little sage. Bring my energy in. I was outside today. Let me tell you, very hot. The sun was hot. The shadows were hot. The water was hot. Yeah, so much going on with that fire of energy and the moon. So as I see it, guys, this is kind of how I see it. This is how I've been working with the energy for myself as well. We have the sun, right? The sun, the moon, the stars, the planet. Hey, Bill. All right, so the sun is what feeds us our life, right? That's kind of like I see it, like our life purpose. That's what nourishes us. That's what nourishes the plants, the food, everything. That's our life. And then we have the interaction of the moon. The moon is that intuitive part, right? So it's kind of like our spirit, like our soul energy. So when we have these two coming into alignment, the moon is coming in and exerting itself in front of the sun, asking us, to look at what our soul purpose is right now. All right, soul purpose and life purpose can be in alignment. They don't always have to be, nor sometimes are they not. So we are being asked right now as we come into this alignment tomorrow to look at what that soul purpose is and how that can come forward for you right now. All right, eclipses also bring in the shadows, right? We talk about that. We see them. There's going to be that shadowed energy coming in that also represents that shadow energy within us, right? We all have it. We do. We all have shadow parts of ourselves we don't want to look at, we don't want to see, we don't want to believe in. We have those energies, all right? And we need to help us look at those and open up. Lots of times it can reveal something else about us. It's not always a bad thing, shadows. 
all right? It's kind of those vulnerabilities that when we open them up, when they come forward, we can step up with them because we can learn our lessons for them, from them, right? And move up. So that's a little bit of what all that energy is coming along. Now, if we look at it in the placement coming right through the Americas, right? Hello, what's been going on lately? All of this falling apart, all of this shadow side coming up, all of this racism, all of these just, oh, oh, right? All of that kind of energy has been coming forward. So that is actually in alignment. But the thing that we have to remember and that we can use for our higher good is where do we step up our game? Where do we step up our spirit? And where do we come forward to remove those shadows of what isn't serving in our country right now? All right. Big time for us, all of us. Big time to wake up. Big time to step forward. All right. For so long, we've kind of ridden the waves of it, right? You know, Marianne Williamson, she's been talking about it. We can no longer deny it. We have to help it along. We have to raise our vibration, which is exactly what this is about, and step up to the plate for that. We really do. So where can you step up to the plate? All right, it doesn't always mean that you have to start over or completely throw away your life. You don't have to do that. Where can you realign your own purpose with what it is you wanna do right now? Maybe you've gotten off track, maybe you're not so strong in it right now, but this opportunity tomorrow is gonna to help you to step up your game as well and open up to a part of you that is deeper, that is stronger and that is willing to open your voice and come forward. It's in Leo. Leo's very powerful energy. It's about the leaders, all right? And this is a new moon, second new moon in Leo, kind of a little anomaly there too in astrology right now. So where is your leadership? That is being tested. We can all be leaders, right? Where can you really stand on your game? Where can you open up and really share the work that is from the deeper part of your heart? Right? That's really important right now. We have to look out for each other. And we have to do that by starting with ourselves and coming into that deeper part, that heart energy, and then open up that spirit and lead from that place and align your soul with your life purpose. And tomorrow, really important to do that. So I wanted to offer a little suggestion for you tomorrow. When you're coming into that energy, if you can, if, even if you're in an office, you can do this, but right around that time of the eclipse, draw an energy circle all around you, like arm's length. Imagine it going all around you. Create an energy circle around you. If you have a crystal, bring a crystal with you and put it in that circle, put it in your space. And as the eclipse starts, align with that energy and let those crystals absorb that for you. That will help you raise your vibration. Now, it's really important that you are very aware of what you're thinking about, what you're feeling, what the mind is telling you tomorrow during the eclipse, all right, during that energy, all right, just for tomorrow, just for right now, just for today, as we say in Reiki, let go of any of the negative energy, negative self-talk, the I can't, I won't, I couldn't, I shouldn't, let it all go and align your energy with the higher vibrations, I can, I will, I intend to. All for your higher purpose. That is exactly what we need. And then let all of that energy pour in. Let the crystals fill up with that light for you. And as that moon comes in, in the absence of that energy of the sun, as it comes and closes and the aurora comes around, notice the absence of that chatter in your own mind. Notice the absence of whatever it's been that's been feeding that mind, all that chatter. Notice that absence of that for a moment. Be quiet. Be still and watch and notice. Notice the sound you hear, notice the color, notice the light, all right? Notice those moments. It goes quick, so don't be fidgeting around with any of your stuff. Stop, draw your energy circle, charge your crystal because this you can take with you, all right? Even if you're at work, on your desk, same thing. And then as it starts to open back up to the light, notice that energy that's feeding that new part of you that mindset, that I can, that I intend to. Step up your energy vibration right now. Fill the heart with love as you go through this. Just feel love. Feel love. Let it start within you. Feel that love for you and let it open up and come forward. Very important to do that. Yeah, that's how we move through the eclipse. That's how you align with it. And that also can be how you understand where it is affecting you at this moment. As you go into the silence, what is it that you're consumed with? 
As you open up to that energy, what can you drop out? And then as you see it come back into light, step up the plate, move through that portal and open up to your spirit. Open up to feeling empowered from that deeper part, from that soul energy of who you are right now. You're important in this cosmic energy. You're important in humanity now to step up and to be strong in your energy, really important. Yes. So just take a moment, take all this in. Take a nice deep inhale. And just notice how you feel about this right now. If I was to ask you, what can you drop off? What is your comment? Is it the fear in your life? Is it the I can'ts? Give me a comment, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. What is it that you could drop off right now, today? We're at the dark of the moon, new moon's tomorrow. This is the darkest point right now. What is that shadow that you can open up to right now? Fear, yes, hashtag fear. Let it go just for today. Be strong. Just for today, insecurities, yes, let them go. Who cares, right? When we stand on the edge as a leader, as a creative person, as a healer, as a light worker, we're all insecure, right? We're standing on the edge. So stand on the edge with strength, right? Put those heels on, Trudy, I know you can, right? Commitment, Cynthia, right now, Tessa, right now, commitment is really important because the energy we set is going to endure for the next six months at least. Know this is a time to commit. Very important. Great comment. Very important right now. All right? Self-doubt. Let it go. That's just fear. False evidence appearing real. There are all good aspects to each and every one of us. So find that tomorrow. Find it tonight. Find it in the morning when you wake up. Find what it is that is a good part of you and shine that into that crystal, into that light tomorrow. We all have something we can be grateful for. Gratitude raises that vibration. Not everything is thankful in our lives, but we can have gratitude and that can help us to release those fears. All right. Fears of vibration. It's a lower vibration. Love, peace, contentment, a cat purring. Those are all higher vibrations. So find something to raise that vibration so that you can drop the rest away and just hold on to that. Be still when that, in, when that energy starts, right? When that eclipse starts to cover up, be still. I know there's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of frenzy. Be still. Go into that slow motion of stillness so that you can really interpret that. Really important. All right? Great ideas coming forward. Really important that we really step this up right now. No wonder it's coming through our country. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. And tomorrow's not the only thing going on for this week. We're going to see this carry over. We're still in the retrograde, so we're going to still see the results follow through. We're going to still feel that shift in energy. All right, we're going to still be working with the heart as we move through all of this energy through the week. All right, so take it in. Carry a crystal with you. Wear a crystal. Bring a crystal. Put it in that field of energy for you. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. So working with the good tarot, love the good tarot, very beautiful, very positive. So today as I was preparing for this, I was shuffling the cards, right? They're these beautiful green ones, shuffling the cards and asking spirit, like, what's our big message, you know? And I'm getting ready to turn over the first card and look what pops out. It's the love card. How beautiful is that? And it's also a woman and she's laying on a lion. Lion is Leo. All right, now this card is all about connecting with each other. I am you, you are me. Don't feel isolated right now. Connect to your heart, to all mankind. Relax into that energy. Find that part of you. All right, that's where it begins. Love you. Be loving to you. That's how it starts. That is the whole emphasis of this energy for this week. All right. The next card that comes up is the Empress card. I love this. This is a good major arcana card. This is all about fertility, creating abundance, trusting that inner part of who you are that you can bring it forward right now. All right. So that's that beautiful energy we connect to as the sun opens back out. Strength. Perfect card. This is endurance. All right. And there's our second lion. All right, we're second new moon in, in Leo. There we go. So we've got both of them working for us. 
Endurance, Tessa, there's your card. And love, there we go. It will take strength and endurance to get through this, guys. It will, but you've got it. Know that you've got it. Know that you tap into that infinite potential. The next card that came up was the Seven of Earth. I love this card. She, she knows that there's a choice to be made. She knows there's a part of her path that needs to go forward, and now is the time for her to stand up on it. She's got the earth beneath her feet. She's got the spiritual energy. Seven is spiritual. She has got it. So take it forward. Make that choice. Now, the interesting thing about this card is that it's a choice, all right? Whether you want to like up your game, up your mindset. Do I need to change what I'm doing or can I just be stronger? And that's what the energy is offering us right now. Do I need to change my set? Do I need to course correct? You guys have heard me talk about course correct. Or can I just be stronger in who I am? Empowered, hashtag empowered spirit, right? Now, this is an interesting card that came up last. All right, this is the five of errors, and I drew this yesterday too, interesting, for somebody else I was reading. Now, this is the vulnerable card. This is where we walk that tight rope, and this is what's going on right now in the world, right? Right now with that, that being really the vulnerabilities, walking that tight rope, the conflict, right? So sometimes when we have conflict in our lives, that's what helps us open up, and that's what helps us grow to more of who we are. We don't have to be afraid of that, that that vulnerability, right? Even that self-doubt we were just talking about can come from knowing that we have worked and we have learned our lessons. And that's what this card is about, all right? Dance your life right now. If those vulnerabilities are getting to you, dance it, create it, be creative and having to understand more and more and more about those vulnerabilities. Yes, they're all beautiful cards, all right? Several of the Arcanas, the Majors, the Love, I Am You, You Are Me. That's exactly what this energy is about. Creating your life, abundance with the universe, connect with the universe. Really important. Strength and endurance. Don't give up. Right now, we have to, if anything, just really dig our feet in deeper to the earth, ground in deeper, much deeper. Make that decision, guys. Do I go forward? Do I course correct? Which is it for you right now? This is probably the most important question to answer before tomorrow's eclipse. Do I go forward or do I change and course correct? They're both empowering, but that is your choice. All right. It's okay to have the vulnerabilities. It's okay to walk that tight line. It's okay to be different. It's okay to have conflicts, right? It is definitely okay to have conflicts, but stand in your own energy. It's okay right now. This is the best time to do it. Dance your vulnerabilities, right? Love that and love just love 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 be connected we're in this together especially all of us here on this group i know the right we we, we are light workers we want the higher good we don't want what's going on in the world right now yes bring those statues down bring those old leaders down this is about that feminine energy too right the moon is feminine the sun is masculine the moon is coming in front folks all right stand up empower your spirit all right, stand up and empower your spirit. Take a nice deep inhale. Course correct, course correct. I love that term. Just shift a little bit. That's all we have to do. Inhaling and exhaling. Send that breath down and just for a moment, feel yourself coming into alignment. Shoulders over shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. The physical, the mental, the spiritual, and the emotional. Bring the energy in. Take a nice deep inhale and bring that breath all the way up and all the way down. Inhaling and exhaling. I see a request for a card. I could try and invite you on. Would you like to come on or just want a card, Cindy? Want a card or want to come on the Facebook? I love it. I want to try out this new feature with Facebook before we end and close our energy. All right. I don't see an answer. So, Cindy... Let's see if I could do this. I am not going to be on the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow. So I thought I would do some readings today. I'm actually going to be on location, going to catch the eclipse. All right, I couldn't quite do that. Let's try and do it. It was sent, but it's not going through. All right, so Cindy, this card is for you. Where can you focus as we move through this energy? Take a nice deep inhale. Okay, this is the hanged man. 
All right, so that doesn't mean go hang yourself. Please don't read this wrong. The hangman means take a different perspective in life. Have patience. I love to always say hang upside down. All right, let all that energy come into the crown. Open up your spirit. But it's also, it really is about looking at it from a different perspective. So turn yourself upside down. Look at it and have patience with yourself. Let all that energy flow into the crown so you can open up to understand more about it. Patience is important. All right, that's what the hangman is about. And he's hanging in front of the moon. I love it. So look for that different perspective. All right. I tried to invite you in. Let's see if we can do it again. There was an invitation sent. You might have seen it. Maybe you don't know it. But anyway. All right. So Cynthia Tesla, Tessa, Tessa, let's see if I can find you to bring you in. Just trying out these new features with Facebook. I don't see it. All right. Can't see it. Got to know how to do everything, don't you? All right. Tessa, I'm pulling this card for you. All right. Here we go. How can you help yourself with that commitment? I think that's what you were asking about. Let's see. Take a nice deep inhale. Ooh, the Ace of Air. All right, so the Ace of Air. This is a beautiful card, Tessa. This is like a whole new beginning in mindset, which is exactly what that energy is about. I love this. So tomorrow, as you move through that eclipse, reset that mindset reset it i don't think you're too far off in what you're doing all your work that you're doing and helping and using your energy and your massage you're definitely on the right track reset the mind all right if you can't make a real huge commitment to time start short and then that will help you build that commitment with yourself but ace of air is all about that new thought that new mindset perfect card for tomorrow beautiful card for tomorrow all right inhale and exhale all right michelle yes i'll draw one for you too all right, I don't know what you were struggling with there, but here we go. What do you need to know to help you with tomorrow? All right. Ooh, the high priestess. Are you living this energy, Michelle? Step into your plate, all right? Step up your notch. Step up your game. Really own that high priestess, all right? I know you know this. Own it even more. I know you can do it, Michelle. You got it, man. You've got a beautiful room over there at Golden Temple. You do great massages, great work. You're very helpful. Step it up. Just believe in that, all right? The high priestess is someone who knows. She carries that energy. She can sit in her throne. Sit in your throne as we move through this eclipse. Own it. I know you can. Beautiful. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale i love pulling the cards you're welcome tessa you're welcome all right anybody else before we close with running our energy and just aligning for this beautiful eclipse that we're going to have tomorrow so new moons don't forget new moons are all about setting new intentions right so in the midst of all the clips be sure to write down right when we write them out i intend right I choose to, right? Bring those in. Don't forget to do this with all the eclipse energy. Take a nice deep inhale. Anybody else coming forward? Hi, Mill. Yep, I will. Okay. Pull a card for you too. Okay, here we go. This is for Mill. Take a nice deep inhale. Let's see what's good for you to come forward right now as we move through this eclipse energy. The king of air. All right, so Mel, this is about somebody that really knows their own mind, all right? This is someone that has that ability to be really strong in their mind, but be careful not to get too judgmental, all right? So I would just check in with whatever it is that you're really being very strong, very headstrong about, all right? And see if you can free that energy up a little bit for you tomorrow as we move through this. Be a little flexible. Bend the knees. Align in that energy. And... If it's something that is really important and you're ready to move forward on that, step up to it with a strong mind then. So which is it for you, Mel? Give me a little give me a little comment there and so I could see. All right. I'm not sure which way it is for you going right now. I don't really know you there. But a strong mind is coming forward. All right. So how you choose to deal with that is going to be really important. I always say it's a little good to have a little flexibility in there, but know your mind. All right. So that would be what my reading is on that card for you, Mel. All right. Take a nice deep inhale. And let's just take a moment and bring our energy focus all together. All right. From all of this energy today, 
Know that this energy is coming. Know that these shifts are coming. Hey, Kenzie, yes, I'll draw a card for you today. I love seeing all those pictures of that beautiful baby. Oh, she's adorable and beautiful. All right, let's see what's up for you guys. Here we go. Ooh, the nine of fire. All right, so this is all about passions in your life. The nine is that there's still more to come for you guys with that passion energy. Rekindle it, reset it. All right, bring it forward, stand in it a little bit more. All right, how does that fit for you, right? Fire is our passions, our desires in life. See the stars are aligning. See that? Beautiful card for this energy coming up this week. I love it. All right, look for a little bit more. Nines are almost completions, but they're not finished yet. So there is more for coming for you, for you guys, for this energy as you move forward. All right, three thumbs up. Love it. All right. Yes, so much excitement coming forward. And again, the best advice right now is to take it easy tomorrow. When the, when those minutes come by, all right? Because, right, I guess here it's like 1.30 or something. It's only for two minutes. Be still. Be quiet. Notice what you notice. Clear the mind of all the chatter. Raise your vibration with gratitude. Gratitude brings us into the heart. Go deep. This is a deep day. Go deep. All right? So let's just take a nice deep inhale and bring the breath all the way up through the spine. And as you exhale, bring it down from the heavens and just drop into the heart with the ah. Open up the sound of the heart. Inhaling. And as you exhale, ah. Feel that connection with the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling. Dance with your vulnerabilities. Let your light shine. And let your heart open. Inhaling. And exhaling. Just dropping into the heart. Feel that heart opening out all around. Create that field of energy that brings you into alignment with your soul. All right, guys? Have a wild one out there tomorrow, but be sure to find those moments of silence for yourself, for your spirit, and for your soul purpose at this time. I'll be back on the Empowered Spirit Show next week. I'll do readings next week. Tomorrow I'll be chasing the eclipse, going up to Tennessee. You'll hear about it, I'm sure. All right? Stay well. Come find me at the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'd love to have you. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me. To your spirit. Namaste.